I'm Dr. Ajay Gorsik, Pulmonary and Sleep Medicine Physician, Bhaktivedanta Hospital, Mumbai. Today we are going to talk about an important topic, sleep. I know everybody is very much uh, concerned about sleep nowadays. Sleep is definitely a very important part of our life and not only quantity but the quality of sleep is very important. It not only gives us a good health, it also provides us a good immunity. Regarding today's topic, we'll talk about people who consume tablets to induce a sleep. There are two types of a tablet I can divide them into. One is a sleeping pill and second thing is a melatonin. Now these sleeping pills are typically pills which help us to fall asleep but these sleeping pills are basically not really appropriate drugs to induce a sleep if you don't have a diagnosis achieved. So if your diagnosis is confirmed that why you don't get a sleep and if there is a qualified prescription from a physician or a psychiatrist then sleeping pills are probably helpful for you. Regarding melatonin, melatonin is comparatively very safer drug. It is basically used to reschedule the sleep-wake cycle which is disturbed for temporary purpose especially when you travel from one continent to another continent you have a jet lag so melatonin help you to settle that particular sleep-wake cycle melatonin also is used for uh, adolescents or young kids when they have a delayed phase syndrome what do you, what do you mean by delayed phase syndrome? people have a tendency of sleeping late 2 a.m. or 1 a.m. or 3 a.m. Now, if no pills, if no melatonin, then what is else? Here the important topic of sleep hygiene comes into picture. So what is sleep hygiene? It is basically a non-pharmacological or non-drug way of handling our sleep-wake cycle in a regular way. So what are the few salient features to do that? One is regularity. So always keep your bed in time and bed out time same. Don't consume caffeine, alcohol or tobacco at least one and a half hour to two hours prior to your scheduled sleep time. Always invest into good sleep environment. So your room temperature should be very comfortable. It should not be too cold, too hot. Always try to use low light while you really go to the bed and no uh, phone exposure or uh, laptop exposure or bright light exposure at least one hour prior to sleep these basic things you should be following you should usually get a good night's sleep if you don't get a good night's sleep in spite of following the sleep hygiene then you can always see a sleep physician for better qualified health